Hi, this is a quick video on how to assemble and use your TriTech Research SMT1 FL Quick Change Fluorescence Dissecting Scope. Here are the parts that come with it. There's a bracket which attaches it to the microscope and powers it. There's the slider and here are two modules, one for EGFP and one for M-Cherry. And here is a glare shield because the light's pretty bright and you don't need it shining back into your eyes. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to put these modules onto the slider. It's super easy to do because they have guide pins and magnets to attach them. So on each lamp you'll see there's guide pins and magnets. So all you do is you get it underneath the slider and it snaps right into place. And here's the next one. And that one snaps into place as well. And you can put them in any order that you want for ease of use for your experiments. I'm going to show you how to put the slider bracket on the microscope. It has this set screw right here. It just slides right over the objective lens like that, get it nice and straight, and you tighten the screw. And then here's the power cord that plugs in up here. Now you're all set with that. Now here's the slider and the modules. That just goes right in the slot here. And you are all set and ready to go. So it automatically stops in these positions due to the magnets. And if we turn the light on, you can see that it activates the modules appropriately. And we have a glare shield to block this. So there's a slot right here. You insert it into the slot, line it up so it's the same width as the bracket, and tighten this little set screw. And here are the controls. There's a main power switch here. Here are on-off switches for the lower illumination and for the fluorescence illumination. This is the brightness control for the bottom transillumination. And here's the control for fluorescence intensity. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you very much, and enjoy your microscope.